Now, next question is 43. In this question, we are given a function f whose domain is set of all real number and codomain is open interval 0 to 1. This suggests that range of the function f will be subset of the open interval 0 to 1 and we are also given that is function f is continuous on R. Now, in this question, we have to answer which of the following functions in different options have the value 0 at some point in the interval open 0 to 1. So, again we will check one by one each option start from option A. In option A, we consider given function say g x given by e to the power x minus definite integral from 0 to x f t sin t d t. Now, in this case, if we find derivative of this function, we see g dx x equal e to the power x minus f x multiplied by sin x. Here, we have applied Leibniz rule. Now, it is given that this function f have codomain open 0 to 1 and we all know very well that range of function is subset of the codomain. So, from this we can see that derivative of g x will be positive for every x between 0 and 1. Reason is very simple over this given interval this e to the power x is larger than 1 and product of these two quantity remains between 0 and 1. So, we are subtracting anything between 0 and 1 from the quantity which is larger than 1 then we can see that this overall resulting value remains positive and from this we can see that the derivative of g x become positive. This suggests that our function g x is strictly increasing on interval 0 to 1. Now, if we find value of the function at x equal 0 put x equal 0 in the function this first term become 1 and because the lower limit and upper limit are same. So, this become 0 and at x equal 0 this function has value 1 and because it is increasing on this interval this suggests that this function will take value greater than 1 for every x between 0 and 1. So, option A is not possible. So, we can say that option A is not possible. Now, we check option B for the question. Now, in option B it is quite simple we consider a new function say k x given by x to the power 9 minus f x. Again it is difference of two continuous function and if we check value of k at 0 it is coming minus time f of 0 and we are given that range of f is subset of this codomain. So, from this we conclude that value of k at 0 will be negative and again if we find value of k at 1 it will be 1 minus f of 1. Now, again f of 1 will be between 0 and 1 and we are subtracting anything between 0 and 1 from 1 of course, it will be positive and from these two we conclude that k 0 when multiplied by k 1 is negative and of course, k x being difference of two continuous function is also a continuous function. So, we can say using intermediate property of continuous function that option B is possible option B is possible. Now, we check option C for the question. Now, in option C we are given a function say m x given by f of x plus integral over 0 to pi by 2 f t multiplied by sin t with respect to t. Now, we can see that this f x for all x will take value in open interval 0 to 1 and this will have some constant value because we are integrating continuous function over interval 0 to pi by 2. So, this definite integral will have some constant value and this constant value will also be positive because both f and sin t 
because f will take value in open interval 0 to 1 and we are given sin t. So, when both are multiplied the value of this definite integral will be some constant and that constant value will of course, be positive and this term is also positive for every x. So, from this we conclude that m x is positive for every x in interval 0 to 1. Again option c is not possible. Now, finally, we come to last option to check whether the given equation will have a root in open interval 0 to 1 or not. Now, again we suppose this function say n x given by x minus integral 0 to pi by 2 minus x time f t cos t d t. Now, in this case if we find value of the function at x equal 0, so this term become 0 and this become 0 to pi by 2 f t cos t d t. Now, these two are continuous and we are integrating over interval 0 to pi by 2 then using properties of definite integral we can say that this value will be positive and outside definite integral sign we are we have a sign of minus quantity. So, this become negative from this we can say that value of this function at 0 is negative. Now, let us find out value of this function at 1. Now, again we put x equal 1 we get 1 minus 0 to pi by 2 minus 1 multiplied by f of t cos t with respect to t. Now, in this case we see that here we have multiplied f t by cos t and cos t remains between 0 and 1 over given interval and f t we are given a continuous function and takes value in open interval 0 to 1. So, from property we can see that value of this definite integral will be some constant and that constant will remain between 0 and 1. So, because this remains between 0 and 1, so this value become positive and from here value of n at 1 become positive implies option d is correct. Finally, we conclude that option b and d are correct for this question.